What's up everyone, this is El Pro from El Pro's Garage and today we're going to show you guys how to replace a PCM on a 2000 through 2003 Cadillac DeVille or a Seville like that black one over there. Uh, this process is actually not too difficult given you have the right tools and I'll show you uh, the right tools here but essentially I'm just going to be uh, installing that, repairing that PCM over there to this car. It's actually quite a simple process and uh, we're going to start out by uh, actually pulling the P old PCM out of this car. You need a Phillips screwdriver and then you just uh, have to loosen this up and loosen this one up as well. And then there's, I think there's like three bolts over here. So there's one, there's two over here and there's a third one down here can't see it at well let's see there you go there it is it's that one down there so you get those three off and then uh, this whole cover just comes off and you can uh, take the PCM out all right once all that is loose you just lift this up like that and you can lift this up as well this up uh, mine's loose the uh, the cowl cover or this cover right here um, but basically just lift it off like that so this this is the air filter element PCM is right there and then I think you need a seven mil so seven millimeter and then you loosen these two as well actually wrong way Too. So there it is. Let me just lift this out of place. And there it is. This is the old, the original PCM. And then here's our replacement. And we're just gonna toss it in here. Like so. Connect it back up. And then tighten these again. Uh, before you so I would not recommend you put every, the, the air filter back in until you actually get the PCM program. So I'm going to actually show you how to do that real quick. Uh, and we're going to be using a, the VX Diag for GM. So it's that little thing you can buy on Amazon for like $150. And we're going to be using my computer and we're going to actually be pairing this to the car. So let's get started with that. Okay, real quick, we're going to talk about what you need to go ahead and program a PCM anyway. Uh, we need the VCX uh, Nano here from the VX Diag VCX Nano. Uh, this one will set you back around $130-ish. Uh, if you buy the Wi-Fi version, which I also also have right here, this one's going to be like $150, but I have both of them just, just because. Either way, all you need is this, and then you need to set up your computer, which I'll really quickly show you on my computer here how to set everything up so you can actually program the, the module. All right, so here we are on my desktop, and real quickly I'll show you how to set everything up. Uh, the first thing you need is to uh, go to v search up for VX Manager on Google. Oh, VX, not VS. And then you download it. I don't think it's this one. It's actually, let's go back. The page, the page is in Chinese because it is a Chinese product after all, but you just download a VX manager from this green, uh, green button over here. And once you do, you'll install it on your PC. And I already have that done right here. So let me just put in my password. Uh, let's see. There we go. So I already have this installed on my PC here. As you can see, there's nothing connected to it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this on the on the car, and then connect the other end to the USB port, and then click reconnect. And let's see, will it work? There it is. So as you can see, now it shows up. 
uh, it's very important that when you install this software, make sure that the, the GM GDS2 is not installed. As you can see, there's a little X over here. Make sure that's not installed. And then the SGM RDS, same thing. Do not install this. Uh, if you try to use the, the these, what will happen is it will try to emulate an MDI and it's not going to work. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. Here we should just be able to push auto detect tool and it should set it to the right one immediately. And let's see if this works. I think this is the part where it crashes. There's we're retrieving data. Okay, let's see what this. But basically, all you need is pass through, which is the yellow icon right here, and just that's all you need. Nothing else. Do not install any of the GM stuff. From there, you're then going to go to your browser. Go to acdelcotds.com, and then you're going to register. If you haven't registered. And uh, you're also going to need to go ahead and add one vehicle. It's going to be, oh, I actually went up in price. It used to be 40 but now it's $45. And uh, you, add it, you add it to cart, and that's it. From there, you can go ahead and program your vehicle uh, as many times as you need to for the next, like, two years. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and uh, I'll meet you back with the uh, what you need to do next. All right, once you've logged in and you have everything set up, as you can see, I have uh, multiple vehicles here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click view, and then you're going to cl click add VIN in your case. And then again, if you uh, have a brand new system here, you're going to go ahead and push download TechLine Connect, and then let the whole thing install and all that stuff. So just let it, so click this and just let it install. In my case, I already have everything set up, so all I just need to do is uh, click launch TechLine Connect. And put in my password. No, oh, it's the other one. Let's see. All right, so here we are. I I'm going to go ahead and launch TechLine Connect. Put in my password, and then this should launch here. Let's see. Uh, you have to also, by the way, try when you ever whenever you try to use the software, make sure you launch it from the AC Delco TDS website, if you try to install it, if you try to launch it from the application on the desktop, it's not going to work, so just keep that in mind. Since I don't have like the full, full software, the one that's like $3,000, uh, that's why that doesn't work, but as you can see, my VIN's already added, but if you don't have a VIN added, you're going to go ahead and connect, uh, push the blue button that says connect vehicle, and then it should fill in all the information for you, and then you can click, uh, select same same as down here mine's already added so I don't need to do that and then in this case again we're gonna go ahead and select VX diag do not select MDI because it's not gonna work it's gonna I mean it's gonna work but then it's gonna crash so from there we go to SPS2 on the sidebar over here and then it let it load Uh, this might happen, but let's just click reset. Let's see, come on. Should work from here. Alright, there it is. So, make sure that the VIN up here is the same one that's on your car. And then, in my case, we're just going to go ahead and uh, select re replace and reprogram. Click the green next button down here. It's down there. Then from here, we're going to go ahead and select PCM VCM. Click next. And let's see if it works. So if you have the fake MDI version or the fake MDI drivers, usually this is the part where it would crash and it would tell you the controller data can't be found. But as you can see, since I'm using the the VX Diag profile, the pass through, uh, it's working. So from there. Just this is basically telling us that uh, we're gonna install the latest calibration for this module. So these are the previous previous versions. This is the newest one. And then we just click next. And then you click next again. Next. And then please confirm the EC has been replaced. Yes. And then from here we should uh should go. So there it is. Let's see.
So previously as well, when I try to use the fake MDI, so if I went over here and installed these two, this would not happen right there. It would just crash. But as you can see, we're using the, the VX Diag here. I'll actually prove it to you by firing up the real camera and make just to prove that it's happening. Hey guys, so here we are on the real camera. As you can see, my computer says programming the ECU. We got a USB cable over here and we got the VX Diag down in my OBD2 port. And it is programming the engine computer. So, just to make sure, this is a USB cable. It's down here. And that's programming my my computer there. So, yeah, just to, just to prove. Just to prove it to you, it's actually working. Alright, and we're done. So as you can see, just ignore this. Go ahead and click next. Let's see. And there we are. We just we just reprogrammed the ECU on the uh, Cadillac DeVille. And, and now we just need to go ahead and go through the final step and go ahead and program the actual key to your car again because uh, when you replace the ECU on these cars, the security system will trip and you have to reprogram your key. So I'll quickly show you guys how that's done here. So let's go back to the real camera. Okay, so we're back after we reprogrammed the ECU and as you can see, the car will not start just you can do this all day and it will not start and that is because you need to go ahead and program your key again so this key needs to be programmed again and this is a very long tedious process so get ready uh, because you're gonna be in here for like half an hour but essentially what you do is you lock the doors on the car lock them you open the driver's door then you're gonna go ahead and get your black key make sure that's the black one not the gray valet one and then you insert it and then you open the switch, the ignition switch, and then you're just gonna let it sit on this screen here for 10 minutes until the security light down here, focus, there we go, until the security light down here blinks and then it goes away. You're gonna do that three times for 10 minutes and then you're gonna go ahead and switch the ignition lock back to off for five seconds, turn it back on, wait another 10 minutes and until this uh, security light goes away come on focus there we go and you're gonna do that like three times and the total will be 30 minutes it'll take you 30 minutes to get that done and from there you should be able to start your vehicle so as you can see this is going and it also helps if you go ahead and scroll up right here dang it this thing keeps running out of focus but basically sc scroll to your timer and then you can go ahead and push on Let's see, push it on, come on. As you can see, you can just wait for that to uh, get to 10 minutes and then this will turn off as well. But anyways, once you're done pairing the key, I'll show you the next step, which will be programming the crank position sensor. All right, there it is, it turned off. So then from there, this is the third time, you wait like six seconds at least. And then the car should be able to start. Let's see if it does. There it is. Engine is running. So I'm gonna turn this off real quick. So as you can see, we successfully programmed the the PCM or the uh, ECU to the car. Now you will get a check engine light because you still need to reprogram the the actual crank position sensor and I'll show you how to do that here in just a sec but anyway let's go ahead and just put the car back together because the programming was successful so all right so that's enough of that I think we're done anyways if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe and uh, if you guys want to learn how to do the crank position relearn I'll put a little uh, thing over here and you can watch that video and I'll show you how to do it but anyways thank you guys for watching and Stay tuned till the next one. Peace.